Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's your boy T. Welcome back to Channel T. Today, I want to get into a couple live virtues that I've learned from not just Red Sparrow, the movie Anna, and it, how it correlates to the whole Epstein case bullshit. So, let's get it poppin'. The movie Red Sparrow and Anna go hand in hand because they're about this era of women during the Cold War. So essentially, during the USSR, bro, Stalin destroyed a million lives and killed millions of people. And what did that do? That left a lot of Russian women without a Russian man. So they went to like poor villages. They went to women who, you know, lost some sort of great thing in their life. And they're like, hey, we'll feed your family. We'll take care of you. But you gotta become a sexy KGB Russian lady agent. And they're like, okay, I do this. I need to feed my family. We don't have any rice anymore. I must feed family. I become a sexy lady. So bro, what did they do? KGB takes your daughters, your sisters, sometimes even the moms, bro. They put them in some crazy killer spy agent you know, discipline school. Basically brainwash them, strip them of their senses, and then basically say, all right, you're gonna be given a target. You're gonna have to seduce, not only seduce that man, but either make him your boyfriend so you can get, keep gathering intel off of him, kill him and take his shit, plant a chip in his briefcase, you know, on some crazy stuff like that. I saw this movie and these sexy Russian KGB ladies. Bruh. How, how could you say no? How, bro, blonde, tall bombshell comes up to you in a Russian accent trying to speak English and is picking you up, essentially, bro. You that, psh, psh. I mean, to give them credit though, these sparrows, well, honestly, they would go plant themselves and knowing that the other homie would come hit on them and shit like that. But dude, isn't that just crazy? Honestly, man, that's why you got to discipline yourself. And that's why you need to just shove all these primitive desires to the side. Because dog, the moment you do that, not even a bombshell can control you, bro. There's a whole other world that we're just missing because of this dumb shit that goes on, bro. Imagine the opportunities you can forge for yourself when you're not even distracted by, you know, finding a partner or some shit like that or being seduced by a woman or a man. This goes both ways. This genuinely goes both ways. I mean, like, this, I'm saying it to the bros because I want you guys to be gentlemen. I want you guys to be the men you are supposed to be, dog. Dude, the movie Anna is actually pr very similar, except that she like legit just kills you and shit. And that's my thing too, bro. Like, dude, I, I, I laugh at like those robbery stories where like a, a guy calls a fucking stripper to his room and she just steals all his stuff. Like, come on, bro. That's, that, that's your most vulnerable point. And it's like that Black Mirror episode, bro. Oh, it's like that Black Mirror episode where the first one where the kid gets heated at his sister for using his laptop because he watches child porn. And then the hackers get his shit and then they fucking threaten him or they, they tell him like, yo, we got you your footage of you fapping it to this fucking minor or underage chick. You gotta do what we say or we're gonna expose you. And what does homie do? He does it exactly what they want to the T, bro. And that's where you have people. That's what leads me to Epstein, man. That's where Epstein had people, bro. And that's why he got schmarked, dog. How are you gonna commit suicide in a high security prison with cameras and then the cameras just aren't gonna work? And on top of all that, you're on suicide watch, bro. Hell no, that shit don't fly with me. Bro, that homie just had a lot of people in his grasp. And the moment they all saw his world tumbling down, they immediately knew that he they were next with all this being said bro jeffrey epstein didn't kill himself and he is a prime example of how you can use sex to not only manipulate people but control people and that is what needs to stop 
And that is what I'm going to teach you today. Don't let that shit manipulate you. Don't let that shit control you, man. That's it. Bro, become an interesting enough person to where any type of person, male or female, is just naturally attracted to you, bro. Bring that energy. Stop giving your energy out to things that don't return the same energy back. Just get those demons out of you and become the best person you can be because that's how we live on Channel T. We got more tips and cool little uh, gentleman-like videos coming your way. If you got suggestions on, you know, I I'm thinking doing beard tips, you know, how to get your beard all suavemente. Definitely some style stuff, but anything in particular. Oh, cologne, because you know, a little bit about me. I used to work at Nord Nordstrom. I was in the men's furnishing department, bro. So I I'm, I'm sauce, I'm, I'm here to sauce your whole life up, bro. We're gonna, we're gonna get these sparrows flocking and it's gonna be donezo. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching Channel T, and it's a wrap!